What's up, people? Welcome back to The Fragrance Show, man. Thanks for tapping back in. As y'all can see, my setup has changed a little bit. Everything, you know, change is good, man. It's gonna be, um, I can't say it's gonna be the last time, but I changed my background a little bit. Let's hope you guys are liking it. You know I see I got the little subscribe join up, the little on air on the wall, the hashtag coffee, no changes. But nevertheless, welcome to another video. I'm giving y'all 10 fragrances for the summer. Crush the heat with these joints right here. All right, stay tuned. Back in, man. New subscribers, peace to y'all. My return subscribers, peace to y'all as well. Peace to everybody in the fragrance community, man. That's right. Today we're talking 10 fragrances for the summer, man. Crush that hot heat with these joints right here. First one on the list, man. We're gonna get it cracking. We're gonna get it cracking with <clears throat> Aventus Green, man. One of my favorite scents so far, man. As y'all can see, I had made a nice den in here. Basically, what this is, is this is Creed's green irish tweed this scent for the most part will come across uh i would say if you have a little experience with collecting fragrances this one might come off a little bit basic a little bit generic but still for the most part this is an excellent scent versatile man it can be used for day or night definitely can be used uh for formal occasions casuals but this kind of scent man you want to wear this with a collar shirt tie yeah even with no tie but you still want to go formal with this fragrance first events is green from fragrance fragrance world all right guys number two for me is a fragrance you gotta have in the collection is this from the Don designer house of Dolce and & Gabbana and it's the fragrance that I started this video out with man Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense so make sure it's the intense version though not the first one uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense I keep like a little small bottle on hand 1.6 ounce get the job done nice see this this is like sailboat you know what I'm saying? Kind of vibes. Definitely that sea salt, oceanic kind of thing. It's not your typical blue kind of fragrance. Like I said, it's more of an oceanic sea. Definitely sea notes. Picture myself on a sailboat with this short shirt blowing in the wind kind of vibes with this one, guys. Dolce & Gamana light blue. Intense. Number three guys kind of took the fragrance world by storm when it dropped. I know for me, I didn't grab it when it first came out, but I have it now. And that is My Hair Legacy. This one right here. Sorry for that light shining off this bottle. This one is definitely a fingerprint magnet too far as the bottle go. I uh, really like this one. It's supposed to be a set clone to Parfum Darmali Segli. And I have smell Segli and they definitely are very similar. Similar. A nice minty, fresh fragrance. Uh, definitely has versatility as well. You could dress this one up or dress it down, however you like. Number four, guys, to me is a fragrance that you gotta have at least one of the flinkers in your collection when it comes down to this one. At least one of the flinkers. And to me, I kind of have like, I don't want to say the first one because it is some ones that came out long before this one. But as far as the gentleman line, that's Givenchy Gentleman EDT. This one right here. Very gentleman's S fragrance. Has, has the name Gentleman fresh fragrance it does have like pear pineapple thing kind of going on when i first smelled this i was like man can this be worn in the heat and yes it can guys it does have a, a freshness side to it as well when i smell this though kind of reminds me of a fragrance from mason alhambra that's called kiss matte and also a similar fragrance called the tuxedo now i wouldn't wear the tuxedo in high heat i would definitely reach for kiss matte they definitely walk similar path as far as this scent DNA, but I think this one came first with it. Givenchy Gentleman, I'm actually wearing this one right now and I enjoy it a lot, guys. So, that was one, two, three, four. Fragrance number five, guys, up on the list. It is a clone to Blue Day Chanel, and it's called Blue Day Chance. So, if you are a Blue Day Chanel uh, liker, especially for the EDT concentration, and you don't wanna spend $100, Check out Blue Day Chance. I do have a video up this one up on the channel. Performance is not as great as Blue Day Chanel, I will say, but for a fraction of that price, this fragrance will last you between five to six hours, and you do get that similar scent DNA from Blue Day Chanel, especially when it calms down. It does have a kind of synthetic alcohol blast in the beginning. Give it time to calm down, and you will start to enjoy that Blue Day Chanel DNA. Blue Day Chance from Mason Alhambra, guys. 
And if you rocking with me, if you've been rocking with the video for this long, don't forget that like, subscribe, and share button for your boy, man. Bring awareness to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Verse number six, guys, is a fragrance from the house of our moth. It is a Dior Sauvage Oda Parfum Concentration Clone, and it's called our moth, the pride of our moth. Really like this fragrance right here, guys. A nice, smooth, creamy, Blue de Chanel, not Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum Concentration. Man, and for roughly around, I will say $31 to $32, I did get this off of Amazon. I will say that this thing is a beauty. It has lasting power. And y'all know the Dior Sauvage DNA. Total compliment getter. Really like this one. The Pride of Armoff Eau de Parfum Concentration. Dior Sauvage EDP clone. All right, guys, more up on the list and we're gonna get up out of here. Number eight, guys, is from the house, <clears throat> excuse me, the house of Armaf again, and that's Club D Nuit Urban Man Elixir. Urban Man Elixir, guys, what can I say? Aventus, Sauvage, and a little a Baccarat 540 DNA in this baby. I'm gonna spray it because I love this one as well. Nice release from our mouth. Yeah, and man, just a beautiful fragrance. Gonna crush the high heat with this one. Total compliment getter. Somebody get a whiff of you with this one on. And the performance is slightly above average as well. Club D Nuit, Urban Man Elixir. Two more guys, let's get the house of YXL. That's YXL Y, Oda Parfume Intense. This one right here, guys, is probably one of my favorite ones in the line. Uh, I say that because it has like a blue style kind of vibe take on the sweetness and the freshness of this fragrance. It has like an oceanic kind of vibe, blue style. Really like this juice, definitely for the summertime. This one, we all know what YXLY is, man. Definitely more on the expensive side when it comes to designers, but it's well worth the price. I will say if you're gonna get a Y bottle, and look, I have already made sort of, sort of kind of a dent into this bottle as well. Nine, from the house of Latafa Pride, from the Latafa Pride line, and that's Shining Gold. This one right here, Shining Gold. This one is very, very nice. I believe there's some pineapple up in this one. I don't really know all the notes off the top of hand, but this one is a beautiful fragrance. And then definitely pineapple is in this thing. This thing smells freaking amazing. Man, it's one of the best. I will say it's one from the top of Pride line. I wasn't really digging all of them. I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. But this one for sure is a beauty. Shine Gold from the house of Latafa from the Latafa Pride line. And last but not least, guys, to complete my 10 for the summer, this one makes the list, and that is Tarafi Blue from the house of Afna. Ginger, grapefruit, beast mode freshy right here. A lot, some people don't like it. Hey, everything's not for everybody, but I'm sorry if you're making a list of fragrances for the summer, that's gonna crush the heat. Tarafi Blue has to be on it. All right, guys. So that was my 10, man. Thanks for watching the video with your boy. Leave comments down below. My 10 doesn't have to match your 10, but that's the best thing about being part of a community. Hey, we all can pick from, you know, check out what people is gonna be rocking this summer, baby. It's all good, all right? If you need more content, click on that video header up on the screen. Well, like and subscribe to the channel. That link is up there. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace, salute.